Wholeness and Balance Vibrations family. I trust you well. Vibrating in resonance. I'm your brother Curtis of Rule. The reflection of you. And today I'm only here to share what's true and what's in resonance with the now moment. And we all get this. We all experience this where we intuitively pick up on some say voices, you know, whispers coming from we'll say inside because we're the only ones who can hear it. And sometimes those things come through in the most dearest, the most melodic tones you can hear. And you can only hear it when you tune into it. As in you're quiet enough, still enough, let thoughts diminish And I heard Carpe Diem Carpe Diem And it sounded so familiar, it kept going and sounded Carpe Diem It's Carpe Diem It's softly Carpe Diem And I was like, what is that? What is, what is that, Latin? And It is Latin And What it means is Seize the day Seize the day. Why this came at this particular time, I began to dive into that path of intuition. Following the bread comes within my consciousness and expanding inward. Carpe diem. Mambo ni pole pole. It's a Swahili for basically stay, take it one day at a time, one step at a time. Because we tend to build up this, this, um, this mound of things that we want, you know, where we want to be, how we want to get there, things we want to have, and we miss a step because we're thinking too far forward and missing the minutes, hours, and moments you have right here to seize the moment. Carpe diem. And in these moments, we live life forward, but we understand it backwards. Or should I say, we live life forward and we understand it backwards. Because then we think back on what we've been through, through experiences, and now we have a greater level of wisdom of that experience. Like if it were to happen again, I would meet it with this level of consciousness and awareness. So as we glide, walk, stumble, fly through this thing we call life, it begins for most of us without any type of road map, you know? We typically learn a bulk of the experiences though, from the bumps and bruises as we stumble through, from learning the environment, how we're supposed to communicate, learning the language, um, and that whole has a learning curve that takes time as we see our children learn to walk, you know, after months of being here as opposed to you know, certain animals, they come out and they boom, they're in it. <laughs> and it is told as a roadmap for many other cultures that still carry the principles and, and share the light on the, on the blueprint of this thing we call life. And it's seemingly to find who am I? Who is God? What is God? And these roadmaps lead you to the union or unification with God or the Supreme or the Creator or the Most High in these spaces. Or some may say Christ consciousness. Some may say cosmic consciousness. Many words for the desired outcome of the grand unification of oneself. It is said in many of these scriptures that this lifetime or these times that we're experiencing now is laid with battles, epics that one must go through to achieve 
what is valued by the soul. These battles have been written and identified quite clearly in many of these texts, scriptures, where it speaks of troubles, actions, aka karma, habits, desires, obstacles we face as we are going through a self-realization process or better known as the royal sciences of self-realization or God realization realize that the answer has always been within the source is within and if you want to find unification with God that comes from you so who are you I am I am I am all that I am I am I am. He is too. One of the things that I teach my children, my children, is that, well, that's the mantra. The illusion that makes us seemingly different from each other, separates us, is just that. An illusion. A grand illusion. That one must take accounting for every day not to ever divide or report oneself but to find the connections with everything because just because we see an object with these two eyes does that change the molecular structure of the object based on the left eye or the right eye no it doesn't and I know I'm a bitch of this word, but I'm going to go for it anyway. It's a Sanskrit word. And it goes, Vastu uh, Nyan Nyatvam. Vastu Nyan Nyatvam. Kapayita. Kapayite. Kapayiti. Kalpayiti. Kalpayiti. Iti. That's what it is. <laughs> Try it once more. Try not to laugh. Vastu Nyan Nyatvam. Kalapaliti iti, which means one who imagines matter to be other than what it is. One who imagines matter to be other than what it is. Part of the illusion, the dream, the inception. And how we learn to to develop this this sight of what we think to be true, what we know to be true. It's all based in how we are, how we've developed, you know? In different cultures who have shed light on this thing, we're gonna use a running definition of, of ignorance today. What is ignorance? In the Hindu scriptures, the Bhagavad Gita, ignorance is perceiving the non-eternal, impure, evil, and what is not so, to be eternal, pure, good, and the soul. I'll read it again. Ignorance is perceiving the non-eternal, impure, evil, and what is not so, to be eternal, pure, good, and the soul. There's a Sanskrit word, Advidya, which become an athlete of consciousness, a scholar of the soul. Expand your awareness so you know you got the glow. Like it's inherited, like it's, it's been there, it always been there. You just kind of breasting off some of the illusion, some of the dust, and receiving your abundance, your inheritance, because now you know where to place it. You know the order. One, two, nine, five, three, six, eight, four, seven. Give thanks. You you see, there's one center, but can be seen from many different points. Example: the planet. You know, the core of the planet is the center, but on every inch of the structure, you know where true north is you know you know how to get there 
and it's a narrow path it's not up down and around it is a straight shot to get to the center from any point for the soul anyway to take that journey inside so it's straight and narrow it's not that you have to go to this person or that person to uh, in order to achieve the the most high uh, blessing or understanding of what this thing is you just need to listen to yourself and that voice that says Carpe diem Mambo ni pole pole And listen to those intuition voices that will get strong Intuitive voices that will get stronger But will never yell Your level of clarity within yourself will allow you to hear it as clear as a bell And this actually mirrors the challenges found in quantum physics so quantum physics and it pretty much underlines all essence of, of physics chemistry and even biology as they try to figure out what's going on and understand the quantum realm what happens how, how does something come from nothing you know where do we come from and the, the smaller they cut a particle or an atom they find something else and then they put a another uh, couple billions of dollars to develop a machine that takes years to create and, and test only to cut it, cut it a fraction smaller only to see another derivative of the same thing meaning as far as you go as deep as you go you're always found by more because that's the nature of the fractal reality, reality of, the, of the illusion. So cut through the illusion by going internally and discovering what is true. That divine union with the Most High. That divine God realization within yourself. Because... They put a billion dollars and they leave the doorstep of the soul, the spirit. If we was playing I, Spy, I Spy, everybody would be cold. 99.9% .9 of the people would be ice cold. Who you with? And as you close your eyes, you heighten your other senses. Because we go all day, many, to the wee hours at night, with our eyes open, seeing another projection of somebody else's dream. Their car, their clothes, their television program. It's a live vision program. It tells lies to your vision. And we ingest it. Ingest it. So much so that it becomes second nature and it becomes sub consciously manifested within our reality because we allowed that gate these gates these gates these gates these gates to be infiltrated with more delusion more distraction fear which is not of God false evidence appearing real and they do a damn good job of it. So identifying the truest parts of you is still unseen to the eye. Or eyes, I should say. But the eye sees all. So keep vibing. In resonance, family. At top speed. And remember this. Advidya. Advidya. I know I'm jacking it up. It's a Sanskrit word. It just means the illusion runs deep. The illusion is it's non-stop. It's every day. These obstacles, these barriers are, are here as a part of the game. As a part of the experience. So that you may graduate from this plane of existence as your multi-dimensional self. And go into the next space. Because as we know, energy don't die. Just moves on to the next. 
So let's make sure we're moving towards the center in a beautiful way, connecting with those who grant us a clear insight into the truth of who we are and allow others to teach us. Just by well, many times being silent and watching. And remember that if you are the guru, I learned this from my, uh, my, uh, one of my mentors, Savan, Savan Beaumont. And you had a disciple, you had a student. And they had to come and see you certain times of the year, maybe of the month or whenever the frequency is you wanted to be. And they showed up. How would you want them to show up? What time would you expect them to be there? How prepared would you want them to be? What type of questions or, 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 um, or gifts would you like to be brought? And whatever you just imagine, you know, six o'clock in the morning, you know, bring, you know, bring some avocados, you know, uh, prepare to stretch, you know, prepare to do some yoga, um, bring, come with a song in your heart, whatever you thought of, you know, for your student. You do that for yourself. What time will you wake up to, to give to you? What will you bring for yourself? What will you expect of yourself? Because you're stepping into the master's chamber as in yourself you're stepping in that room with yourself by yourself because you find yourself by yourself and when no one's looking and those eyes closed you really start to feel who you truly are you know but take your time and be devoted to yourself as you would expect someone to be devoted to you Devoted to truth, harmony, balance, justice, order, compassion, reciprocity. These are all the principles of Ma'at. Give thanks to the ancestor. I give thanks to you tapping in today. Key vibing and resonance at top speeds. You can find me at OneTribe.io as a crypto grill, but also as a coach. You can also find me as a soul coach within the Secret Energy Ambassador Monthly Subscription Portal. I'll be honored to be one of your coaches to aid you in this space. Because we're in this together. Keep vibing the resonance. Oh, this. Light work, light work. Top speed, let's go.